sorry it is a string actually string the data type is string actually for name and uh, salary might be floating value so keep it as double double sal okay so now take i have declared the instance variables outside the method and inside the class public void accept employee info these are the, this is the method which i want to give i accept employee info console dot right line enter emp id i want to enter the employee id so emp id is a parameter which i given emp id equal to int dot parse console dot read line emp id and emp name is equal to name i want to give now console dot read line for name as it is a string i need to give type conversion okay emp name and emp and last one is employee salary console dot right line enter employee salary that's it and this is i'll give it its sal sal is a parameter which i have given variable sal is equal to double dot parse sorry console dot right line double dot parse okay two variables sal and uh, another method i want to give is public void display employee info i want to now display the employee information these are the two methods which i want to give and just write console dot write line enter employee name employee id first enter emp id plus sid sorry emp id okay console dot right line enter employee name plus e name employee name and next is salary console dot right line enter salary is plus sell that's it and now so we have two methods ready now one is accept employee information and another is second display employee information okay and i have given three variables integer employee id string employee name and salary now two methods i want to execute now so go and create the class first for employee class create the instance of that class now how we will create the instance of the class by creating the object of the class go to the yes. Let's remove this. 
I will create as a cl class no employee. That's it. Like this, we will create employee EMP equal to new employee class. That's it. And now I just want to print that OBJ. Sorry, CMP dot C accept employee information again emp dot display employee information so check it now execute it enter employee id triple one employee name kartikeyan enter salary five thousand So it is displaying all the details now. So in this example we have displayed three instance variables. One is employee ID, employee name and salary, employee salary. Instance variables will be related to the instance object. That means memory location and memory deallocation will be at the time of creation of the object and deallocation is the at the time of the method of the uh, when the method gets stopped the instance variable also will be deallocated with the memory similarly instance variable should be initialized as part of the object creation that means when object is created initial instance variable also should be initialized that wa that's what we have seen up to now but in the above example in this example instance variables are initializing after creation of the object after creation of the object only they have been initialized now okay that means we are passing the values after the creation of the object. So, at the time of the creation of the object to initialize instance variable, we have a separate mechanism called as constructor. Okay. If you carefully observe, first of all, we are creating the instance of an object, and after that, execute execute the program and see. We uh, the object is created, and then the method is calling no. First method has been called no. Now we are passing the values here like this. Okay, now we are passing the values actually. That is, we are passing the values. That means, after the creation of the object, we are passing the values. Whatever wha what we have seen up to now is actually instance variables. Here, in this method, there are three instance variables. These are called as instance variables. Outside the method, they have been declared. They have they have to be initialized. They have to be initialized at the object creation. When at the time of the object creation only. That's what we have seen. And the memory is uh, allocated when the object is created. But here the memory is, uh, is not allocated like that. The method is called first. After that they are initializing. We are initializing the values to that. So at the time of So at the time of creation of object, then to initialize, that means value should be initialized first only, initialize instance variables. We have a separate mechanism in csharp.net that is called as a constructor. At the time of creation of objects, to initialize the instance variables, we have a separate mechanism in C sharp dot net. This is nothing but called as constructor. If you carefully observe in the above example, first the method has been calling, that is object is created first only. After that only we are initializing the values there. Here we are calling the objects first only. 
we are calling this method with the help of the method we are calling this we, we are calling the methods here okay we are calling the methods after that only the instance variables what are the instance variables we have given here that is employee id employee name and salary are been initializing later at the time of runtime user is entering the values there employee id employee name and salary but there is a separate mechanism at the time of the creation of the object itself to initialize the instance variables we have a separate mechanism in c sharp dot net called as constructor this is called as constructor he is also a member of a class which is a special type of function which will automatically created when an object is created okay constructor is automatic call when an object is created actually so it's an important concept actually constructor is a member it is nothing but a member of a class and construction constructors will be invoked invoked or called automatically when an object is created constructor will not return any value so it will not have any return type it doesn't return any value so it doesn't have any return type this is the importance of the constructor so it is nothing but it's also a member of a class constructor is also a member of a class that is the importance of constructor class name and constructor name should always be same you have to remember that whatever the class name you have for example if you create a student class the constructor name should also be same constructor class student name also be, should be same if you create a constructor class student name also should be same so that means for example if you create a student class constructor name also is same as student only it will also be student only and at the time of the creation of the class only it will be called we'll see detailed in the next session how to create this constructor and how to call so constructor is nothing but it's a, it's nothing but it's a member of a class and it will be invoked automatically when an object is created when an object is created automatically it will be invoked constructor will not return any value so it will not have any return type it doesn't have any value so there is no return type for the constructor mainly why we will use this constructor is to initialize the instance variables at the time of execution only execution of the method only to initialize these instance variables in the previous program we have seen that the initial that the instance variable student id what are the uh, this these instance variables are been initialized after the calling of the function so constructor is not like that it will load before when the class is uh, it will be called automatically when the class is loaded so it will load all the instance variables at a time we'll see detail in the next session how to work with it that's all for today's session tomorrow session we'll see this constructor in detail and how many types of constructors are there we'll discuss this types of constructors also what are the constructors and uh, we'll see some uh, examples how to work with constructors and uh, how many types of constructors are there and uh, and uh, there are uh, parameterized constructors and uh, non parameterized constructors also default constructors like that uh, we'll see the types of constructors also different types of constructors uh, this is a very important concept actually so i'll brief it in the next session thanks thanks for uh, that's all for today's session